Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says cannabis sales will generate some revenue, but that his government's commitment to legalize has always been about public health and safety, not about making money. This week, Trudeau told the Canadian press that any money collected through cannabis taxation should go towards addiction treatment, mental health support, and education programs, not general revenues. He also cautioned that overtaxing cannabis would undercut legalization's benefits. Quote, the fact is that if you tax it too much, as we saw with cigarettes, you end up driving things towards a black market, which will not keep Canadians safe, particularly young Canadians. Yesterday in Vancouver, Trudeau reiterated his commitment to working collaboratively to implement responsible cannabis law reform. Obviously, uh, the criminal code uh, will need to be adjusted if we're going to control and regulate, uh, and that's something that the federal government will do. But when it comes to uh, distribution, uh, when it comes to uh, selling and engaging, obviously the provinces and indeed the municipalities will have to be an integral part of that discussion. I mean, we're expecting there to be uh, different perspectives and different solutions put forward uh, across the country. We are uh, ensuring that we're going to get this right. Uh, we're going to get this right in a way that suits uh, Canadians broadly and specifically in their communities uh, and why we're taking the time to uh, weigh in properly and uh, and ensure that we're achieving our goals of protecting our young people uh, and uh, removing the criminal uh, profits. In response to Trudeau's remarks, Vancouver's mayor, Gregor Robertson, said he's relieved that there's finally a federal government willing to collaborate with provinces and municipalities to develop a smart and effective way to regulate cannabis.